Good morning, everyone. Uh, super exciting news. So remember when we were still harvesting? Uh, yeah, you see all the corn and I kind of tore all of this apart on accident. Well, guess what? The part came in, it's fixed. <laughs> and now, and now we can uh, finally finish harvesting and processing all this corn. So even though we're done with harvest, uh, harvest activities will, uh, will still remain. So we're gonna have to go through the heads, uh, go through the combine, clean everything out. And there's a lot of grain that still needs to be like organized, if that makes sense. So corn put through the dryer, make, uh, make sure we have everything in the right bins where it needs to go. Um, and then start hauling grain out of the system so we can finally get paid. <laughs> oh my goodness. I look behind me and my tire was smoking. Holy cow. I'm gonna blow a tire. Well, I'm still driving, mainly because I really don't see any other option. I was thinking, I was gonna call dad, like, hey, what am I supposed to do? But I'm driving down the highway. The only way to fix what's happening would be to remove the head from the trailer and I'm in the middle of the highway. And so the combine isn't going to drive out here and fix it. So I'm just gonna drive a little bit slower and I guess just really hope I don't blow a tire. Do you see that smoking? That is just rubber, just burning off. That's nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, in the famous words of dad, we're just re-grooving the tire. We didn't want traction there anyways. So I'll just be taking gravel home. I'm driving 20 miles an hour, just cruising. I'd realized that uh, bringing the combine to take the head off isn't even an option because our neighbor whose combine broke down is borrowing our combine to finish harvest. So that wouldn't even be an option. So it's just gonna be a slow, rubbery smelling drive home. <laughs> Okay, I am about halfway home <clears throat> and it was kind of sparking a little bit, but you know, it's probably really hot. Ooh, that's pretty toasty. Um, yeah, we're, we're vibing though. Uh, everything else seems to be looking okay. Uh, I haven't lost any corn yet, I don't think, but I might lose a tire. Who knows? Good news, everyone. I safely made it home. The uh, tire's in pretty rough condition, but uh, you know, we'll just worry about that next year, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So what is rubbing is what the head is actually sitting on, these little greenish yellow things. Um, and there's plenty of room that way. So what we're going to do is take the head off when we have our combine back and then just scoot those mounts over a little bit. Uh, but we probably won't replace the tire knowing us. We really don't drive the head trailer very far ever at all, so I'm sure it's fine. So after a morning running errands and dealing with the whole corn head fiasco, I get to be out in the field. So in stark contrast to the 8RX, we're in the 8530 with the front duels on it, which I love. And we are in our case disc here. I've only run this disc one other time. But I am very excited because disking is a super fun job. It is cold and blustery outside and rain is coming. I've got a little bit of moisture on the windows. So I'm just hoping that everything, that the weather holds off until we can get disking done. So we've got over 200 acres to do before the rain. So let's get to it. It's a little squeaky in here, but I don't mind. Uh, the only monitors we're running right now is just our Aglier auto steer. So all I have to do is just click this little button right here and I've got my line set already and tractor pretty much just drives itself. It's also ridged, so tires stay in the tracks pretty easily there. And the disc is just doing its job, disking up the soil, um, getting, those, getting rid of those corn stalks. 
we do not usually do tillage like this on whole fields. Last time I disked was two years ago. Uh, we usually just root slice in the fall, but this year we are going to be applying manure over the whole field and knifing it in. And so we're just taking out the whole field. I think we're also just gonna reset the rows on this field. So doing a little tillage out here. Uh, I do have to start moving the pivot though. Gotta go start to pivot. All right, let's see here. Forward, 100%. can start moving out of my way. We have gotten some moisture uh, and so the dirt is pretty moist but it's not wet. It is a little bit tacky uh, but there's definitely no dust which is really nice. There is something so satisfying about tilling up black dirt. Uh, it's just incredible looking. This was the first field that was harvested um, is a seed corn field. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what the disc is doing. So these front discs here, you can see them they're throwing the dirt out that way and that way. And then these back discs are bringing the dirt back in this way and then this way. And then there's little rolling crumbler baskets on the back that are just kind of smoothing everything out. There is moisture on the front window, but not on the side window. Uh, and everything is still working well, so we're gonna keep going. Try to be doing this all day. I really wanna get these fields done before a big rain that's coming in this evening. Right now, we are going six miles an hour, um, and that leads us to doing 22 acres an hour. Um, right now, I have 5% slippage, which is pretty good. That feels like pretty much nothing at all. Uh, I've got decent visibility out the back, horrible visibility out the front because this moisture is coming in but I have a feeling that if I run the windshield wiper it's just going to smear goo and not do anything at all. Uh, coming to the end of the field while disking is pretty simple it's not a super complicated operation like planting or harvesting is so I'm just going to slow down a tad little bit raise the disc up with one click Supplies I brought with me today are some gloves and a phone charger, and then my snacks are this Lara bar. I like it because it sounds close to my name. Reese's peanut butter cups, a banana that dad kind of stepped on when he was getting out of the cab. It's okay, I'll still eat it. And then an apple and some Chex Mix. As far as our monitor setup, we are only using the ag leader, and all my lights and temperature stuff is right there. This is a mount for an iPad, but we only use that during planting season. Same with this, our seed sense monitor, only use that during planting. And then this is a monitor that we hook up to cameras and we use that when we have the soybean planter hooked up to this tractor and we have a camera that goes inside of the center fill planter so we can see how full it is. Perfect time to be at the end of the field because those lights down there, that's mom coming with lunch. I'm so excited. An absolute tragedy just occurred. Mom brought stuff out in this cute little gift bag. I went over a bump and this happened. Ah! Oh no. <sighs> My lunch is all over the ground. And like, it wouldn't even be a big deal, but it's actually filthy. Salvageable, but Oh, I'm so sorry. I just obliterated that beautiful lunch you gave me. Really, this is just such a satisfying job. Even though it's a really gloomy day, I mean, I, I could do this for weeks. <laughs> I mean, probably not after two weeks, I'd maybe get bored, but I don't know. I wish you guys could feel the satisfaction that this is. 
the crop was planted, watered, and harvested. And now we're kind of entering as much of an off season as farmers have. And we're getting ready to get in the holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So this is a really exciting time of year for us. It also happens to be the time of year when uh, bills start becoming due, but it's also the time of year that we get paid. So a little trade off there. Well, I'm running a little bit low on fuel. That's uh, that's one bar. That's that's fine. So far, oh man, do you see those power poles in the distance? Way over there. Um, all that is dist, and just have to go. I think to the pivot point, which is right um, there. So I don't know, like maybe 80 acres left. I think. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 80 acres on one bar of fuel. Probably have to go back to the farm. Well, the tractor started beeping at me, and I know it's because I have low fuel. So I'm going to fold it up and take it back to the farm and start refueling. Pretty convenient time to stop because I'm right at a driveway. Uh, so I have the disc leveled out right now. Um, I think I have to maybe... Oh, that is not what I want. That's the three point. Here we go. Raise my little crumbly baskets up there. And then, oh, no, that's not right. Uh, fold. Yeah, there we go. And now, I'm ready for transport. Made it to the fuel pumps with, I think, some time to spare. Time to fuel up. We are stopped filling at 156 gallons. Wow, she was thirsty. Much better. Back out to the field. It started sprinkling on the drive back to the field and I was real nervous about using the windshield wiper, but I was in luck. We replaced this one not too long ago. So it's actually a pretty decent one. I guess we're off the road, I can turn off the hazards. Anyways, time to unfold the disc and get back to it. Got my small window of visibility and we are ready to finish this field. Well, a few hours have passed. Our weather situation has not improved. In fact, it's gotten worse. It's even windier and just a little misty. I'm not enjoying it. Uh, I have to say, while I'm complaining, my neck really hurts. I'm just turning around all the time. Grant, hint, hint, it's time for a massage. Anyways, other than that, the day is going really well. Uh, 200 and... 40 acres done. Dad did some uh, last week, so I think that's how much I've done so far. Just keep plugging away. Well, I'd say the disc definitely will need to be washed after this. We've only got 15 more acres to go, uh, so I'm just gonna keep going. While I'm out here, I wanted to remind you guys uh, that while my grandpa has been in the hospital, uh, grandma has been staying at the Fisher House, and if I sell 500 of the Sports Farmer flag tees, Cass Gear will donate $5,000 to the Fisher House organization. They have been super helpful to my family. They did a, they've done a lot of great things for a lot of other people. Um, I'm almost to my goal of 500 t-shirts. So. Go to the link in the description to pick up that shirt today. It would mean a lot to me. 
Whew. And that is a wrap on tonight, thankfully. My neck is killing me from turning around all the time. Uh, Dad's going to drive the tractor back to the farm, and it's kind of late, but I'm going to go home and make Grant nice for supper. Oh, wow. Okay, man, after harvest videos. I'm excited for this, you guys. Uh, thank you for being along for my farming journey, and we'll see you next time. Bye.